Hey, give me all your money. Why would I do that? Because I've got a knife. What, that? That's not a knife. This is a knife. Hello viewers, I am Weld Keith and I am here today to review and test the MTech USA Raptor. Now this was sent to me by a viewer named Drew Tenzosh and he sent it to me under the explicit instructions that I am to beat the hell out of this thing. I am to test it in any way I can conceive and if I can break it, I should. So that's what I'm going to do. Onto the blade, it's um, fur fur to stain the steel. And the blade is 18 inches, and you know I'm always saying that under a 12 inch blade, stainless steel is fine. This is way over 12 inches. However, what I will say is that the blade is stupid thick. Getting in on the camera, you can see how wide that is. That's um, 7 millimeters thick right there. And it uh, gets, short, it gets uh, thinner up towards the tip, which is where the damage would occur with uh, stainless steel. The handle full tang you could see the blade going all the way around there held in two steel pegs so that should be fine the handles made out of uh, my carter which is you know perfectly good material for that and since I'm out in the woods I'm gonna start with some wood cutting now there's this little tiny sapling here look at how big this blade is compared to this little thing so I have a feeling this is going uh, I have not sharpened this. This is out of the box. I haven't done anything to it yet. Haven't tested it. Haven't sharpened it. Let's see. Like butter. Let me put the uh, camera down. Get a better look at that. Oh, that just broke it off at the bottom there. All right, going to move on to something a bit bigger. This uh, little tree here, no leaves on it, pretty much dead. Um, hang on, my tripod's being an idiot. Can't wait till I get my new camera and this won't be an issue. Okay, now this should take a few hits, shouldn't be that bad. Well, I'm going to go around the other side here. Oh, it's going. Okay. Yeah, so that did that really easy. Some kind of weird twisting bug. I don't know what the hell that is. All right. I want you to... Uh, Take a closer look at this thing. You should be able to see it uh, says Raptor on it there. Tactical survival. You know the word tactical is usually a uh, trigger word when you're looking for knives. I'm trying to find something else good to cut here. I know some people might be bitching about me cutting down trees that are alive. But um, the thing is this is going to be my spot. So I'm trying to kind of clear it out. And doing that in videos is the uh, best way to do so. And I got this other little one. This is leaning right over the uh, camera, so hopefully it won't fall right on it. It should be able to knock it out of the way in time. Look at how deep that digs in on the first hit. I love it. It's already breaking. It's so elastic that, oh, it's, it's hung up on another tree. It's already falling. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, slicing it incredibly cleanly like that. All right. Now, I will be back in a moment because I'm going to be trying something else. I'm not going to bother moving the camera because they have a good angle. Hang on.
All right, I'm back. Cold steel in our talk axe. Let me make sure I can see this thing very well. Yes, I can. Okay. Now, this is something called batoning. I'm going to be hitting the blade of the knife with the back end of the axe here to uh, cleave this in two. Look at this. So that worked amazingly. I'm afraid to cut it like this because I'll get my hand hit on the top of one of those, which I don't want. So, eventually, this uh, place here in the woods, I'm going to be clearing it out more, getting rid of uh, the trees that are in the way. It's going to be a lot of work getting rid of the stumps, but I'll manage it. So, we're moving on to a bigger tree. This twisty gnarly son of a bitch right here. It's uh, not too thick, see compared to the knife, compared to how thin the other ones were. This is uh, gonna take a few dozen hits probably, but I'll get it. I'm uh, just kind of slicing the bark off of it for no real reason. See it, uh, it's really good at shaving the trees, so if you're gonna be whittling, now you want a smaller knife for whittling, but you know what I mean. It, it's good for that kind of stuff. All right, now, trying to figure out the way to hit it where the camera might have a good view. Let me uh, move you a little bit back here. All right, there you go. One small complaint I have is that the handle is smooth and so it's kind of getting slippery as my hands are getting sweaty, but I'm not like losing my grip. I just have to readjust every few hits. Oh, nice. That one really got in there. I'm already like halfway through. This thing hits like a truck. Now this is technically categorized as a knife, but looking at it, it's certainly what I'll come over machete. And I'm going to show you the back of it here. I don't know if the camera is going to focus, but you can see these uh, black spots and I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know, but if you can see the black spots right around here, that's actually, uh, that's actually damage to the steel from when I was batoning it with the axe. So, that's to be expected. I was hitting steel on steel, that happens. It's holding up really well to the wood cutting, which, you know, is the main job of something like this. I'm checking the edge now after that tree. So I got schmutz all over it, but the actual edge feels fine edge. No rolling, no chipping. Amazing. I don't know, this might be too bouncy now for me to cut this bit. Now the thing is, Drew told me to do everything I can to this knife, but there's only so much I can do to a knife without getting like stupid with it, like putting it in a vise and hitting it. I don't think I can break this, it's too elastic. Just, yep, that works. There's only so much I can do to a knife that would be reasonably used in an actual situation. I mean, I could get stupid like putting the knife in a vise and hitting it with my war hammer, but you know, that's kind of dumb. However, I am gonna do some more batoning. I'm trying to get it uh, 
wedged in here real nice. I'm gonna go get my axe. Alright, here we go. Oh man, that's really getting in there. Look at that. I'm actually kind of surprised that the tip of the knife has not broken off yet. Stainless steel, it's uh, surprisingly strong. Now comes the part where I try to get the knife out of this. Oh my god. For the glory of Camelot! I am the king! Okay, shit. All right, now you're gonna see here. Back of the blade. Kind of turn up around here, but you know, the thing is, this is just cosmetic damage. There's no actual big chips in the steel. gonna go ahead and oh I should also mention that I have hockey tape wrapped around here so the black schmutz that's uh actually from the hockey tape not the metal I didn't even consider that so yeah there's actually even less damage than it looks probably So, look at that. We're getting to the uh, point of like modern art now. China, come on, break. I might have to put a little bit more damage on him. Yeah, that's not gonna just snap over. All right, so it's staying like this for now. And now I'm trying to think of uh, anything else I can do. I mean, I could just go through a bigger tree, but I don't wanna do that because nothing's gonna happen to the blade. All right, let's see what we got here. Gonna move out of this one I cut earlier. Get that in there. Oh! I. <laughs> this is a perfect example of why this handle might not be the best thing. This knife actually just flew out of my hand. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a good six, seven years now, since uh, 2009, I think, was my first video. That's never ever happened before. So, while the handle flares out at the end, you can see this uh, right here. That wasn't really enough to keep it in my hand when my hand is sweaty like this. So that's a bad design. Just based on that, I would not recommend buying this for outdoor use. I mean, you could wear gloves that would negate the issue, but it would probably be better to get a knife made out of better steel for one thing and with a better grip that doesn't rely on the gloves. Alright, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this axe and as hard as I can, I'm going to swing it into the tip of the knife and we'll see what this does. I hope one of the things it does is not injure me in any way. Blade is fine. Come on, get in there. Gonna come around this side, try that again. I'm really surprised at this thing. I thought that the batoning would take out the tip, 
I really thought that would take out the tip. In fact, I damaged my axe. You see the uh, big old chip right there? That's uh, that's put damage in a uh, job for high carbon steel, cold steel axe. And this blade is untouched. It's just so thick. Oh uh, God, I feel bad about this axe, but you know, I signed up for this. All right. So, a bit of a more utility use here. I'm gonna go over. I'm just gonna kind of shred these branches coming off of this tree that I dropped here. Those just, these just pick right off. Look at that. Yeah, it does that, absolutely no problem. I don't even have to push, I just kind of give a little, a little tap. And they pop up, pop right off. Oh man. Um, so yeah, been going for 15 minutes. Doing a lot of dumb shit to this knife. I'm um, gonna run to Home Depot uh, soon after I make this video. I probably won't be uploading this until the day after I'm filming it. So, you know, imagine it's the uh, same day movie magic. But uh, what I'm doing, I'm gonna be running to Home Depot buying a uh, cinder block and I'm gonna take that part with the uh, back end of the blade. Uh, should hold up. You know, as much as I don't want to do this, I feel like I should get the edge to take a real hit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the uh, tripod back down here. I'm going to get the uh, knife stuck back in this. And since the axe is already pretty much dead, Luckily I have two of these. I'm gonna do an upward hit into the edge of the knife and see what takes the most damage. Oh my God, this is the worst thing I've ever done to one of my blades. Uh, for Asgard. All right, starting with the ax. You're gonna see a little bit of a chip right there. I don't know if that's gonna be too visible in the camera. Yeah, I can see it. Little, this is the big dent, little chip right there. And now onto the knife. Oh hey, finally we got something happening here. Going to the uh, very tip. Where is it? Here we go. You should be able to see right there that chip coming out of the blade. All right, so I actually feel good that I actually managed to do something to this knife, damaging a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to grind that out. That's actually a pretty deep chip, but it uh, still shouldn't damage the functionality of the blade. shouldn't hurt wood cutting or anything. And then I'm going to run and grab that cinder block either later today or tomorrow and give that a good bashing before I wrap up this video. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in three, two one all right through the magic of teleportation i am now in my lair i have a cinder block and i've got the raptor now this is going to hurt me either more than or just as much as it hurts the blade but like i said before i was given instructions to beat the fucking hat out of this thing and that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to first hit this cinder block with the edge of this blade and I'm gonna see what it does to it here goes nothing I got uh, safety glasses on so whatever happens this should be fine oh god I hate this I hate this so much all right then hit down here the blade's definitely chipped in a couple of places. So uh, I actually should be able to sharpen that out. I'm gonna hit it again with the uh, front end of the blade. You know, it's not blowing out big chips of the blade like I thought it would. It's um, 
it's getting like little dents in it, but like I could sharpen this out even with a uh, low quality sharpener like I have. If I had an actual grinder, that damage would be nothing at all. Alright, now I'm going to give it a really good hit with the back of the blade. You see where it uh, comes out right here, this little point of impact. Uh, that might shatter it or I might just knock it off again, but I'm going to give it a... Oh, oh, we have a new issue. This side of the scales, the micarta is coming a little bit loose. Uh, I could probably fix that with an Allen wrench. Yeah, I don't think that's actually a structural failure. Yeah, I could fix that if it had an Allen wrench, right? Disregard that last comment. Wiping the uh, dirt off the tip here. Alright, there we go. Didn't break it. Gonna put it on like this and give it a few more uh, downward hits, like so, with that same bit. Oh, we're getting chunks blown off now. Yeah, that did it. All right, so I've done just about everything I can really do to this blade without buying like expensive equipment that might have a chance of damaging it more. I've uh, batoned it into wood, hit cinder blocks with the edge, back end of the blade, lots of wood cutting. I've actually hit the blade with an ax a couple of times. And it's holding together pretty fucking well. You have a big chip blown out of the tip here from when I hit it with the axe, edge on edge. Uh, the main edge of the blade, little bit ground up from hitting the cinder block, but I should actually be able to sharpen that out and still have a uh, functional knife. If I uh, go to one of my friend's house, I know he has a grinder, I uh, might be able to fix that further. Uh, blade is dirty, but you know, that's not damaged, so that's not even worth talking about. I'll be able to clean that off in a couple seconds. So, um, I'm actually really impressed with this. It's a uh, 440 stainless steel, right? Um, yeah, 440C stainless steel, which isn't all that great for swords. It's terrible for swords, not all that great for knives, I mean to say. Uh, usually I say 12 inches of stainless steel blade will be fine. This is 18 inches, and it's still generally fine. I never ever thought that the tip from here on out would survive hitting it with the axe or doing the batoning, but it did. It's held up really well. A seven millimeter thick blade is just really heavy steel. It's just, it, it's not the steel that's good. It's the construction of the blade. Um, now, in the event that the knife itself didn't get through the uh, cinder block, I bought out the uh, cold steel war hammer so I could actually end up smashing the cinder block anyway for the fun of it. So I have this chunk left now, and since I bought it out, I might as well use it. So to wrap up this video, I'm gonna give this a good smack. Yes. That feels so good. All right, thank you so much, Drew. It's a really excellent knife. And I didn't actually think I would, but I should be able to clean this up and use it in the future for actual utility use. I never expected the knife to survive all the uh, stuff I was going to put it through, but it did. So I got a new knife, and it should have me uh, should have some decent uses in the future. If I think of anything worse I can do to it, I might do that in the future. But um, right now I don't have anything that I haven't already thrown at it. M Tech USA Raptor. 18 inches, good utility knife, I gotta say it. If you can afford it, I'd recommend getting a knife this size made of high carbon steel. If you can't afford it, you know, this will do the job. So, thanks for watching everybody. Gotta clean up uh, all the cinder block here. So, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, Drew. Have a good day. End video.